My name is Ashan Badiani, and I'm one of the representatives at Whitby Collegiate for this year's New York Science Fair. My project is called Short and Strong or Planned and Powerful, How Should You Study? In this video, I'm going to be talking about four things, my idea and how I got it, my process, my testing, and my finished product. Well, firstly, how did I come up with my idea? When at the Careers Expo this year, there were many things showing me what universities I could go to, what courses I should be picking, what subjects I should choose right now, and most importantly for me, what credits and results I would need to get into these different courses and be accepted into university. Now, this is very important for me as I'm just going into level one. And don't get me wrong, I do usually get merits and excellences, but with level one coming along, there is a lot more things on my plate. Well, that got me thinking, how can I study to ensure that I get these results to in make sure that I can go to university and get into these courses? But I was split right through the center. Here's a little bit of the conversation that was going on in my head. Hey brain, what's the best way that I could study? You know, I'm really stuck. There's so many different ways, but which one's really best for me? Wow, that's a good question, Ashan. I'm not actually really sure. You're right, I don't really have a set method either. But if I were to say how I study, I like to go hard at it. Maybe only a few days or up to a week is when I study, just before the test. Wow, that's so interesting. I'm completely the opposite. I like to plan in advance and practice well over a few weeks before, maybe even up to a month. Well, couldn't you forget the stuff if you prepare for over a few weeks? I don't think I will forget because with more time, I'll be able to revise more, drilling it into my head so that I'm ready for the test. On the contrary, won't you be forgetting yours because you won't have that much time? It may be true that I don't have as much time as you do, but all of the stuff will be much fresher in my brain if I only do it over the course of the few days just before the test. As you can see from that, I was split right in the half. But back to the issue at hand, what one will work for me best? So I got to thinking, what can I do to help people like me figure out what studying technique will work best? That's when I got to thinking and I decided to make a study guide. To do this first though, I would have to do some testing. I sent out a survey using these 10 questions. After closing the form, I ended up with 91 responses. And out of this, an astonishing 20% did not know how they could study, which means that this guide will not only be helpful for me, but also for other people in my school who don't know how to study. This is a table in which I inserted all my results. At face value, just looking at the count, we see short and strong wins out every time. But converting this into percentages gives me a new perspective, and we can see that the results are evenly distributed. Now that I've shown you my responses, let me conclude. I had 91 responses overall, 46 in the short and strong category, and 25 in the powerful and planned category, with the rest 20 being that they don't know how they study. My hypothesis ended up being right on the two things that I believed. Firstly, I believed that different, mixture, different personalities would choose different categories which was shown to happen all the time. And my second one was that more people would prefer studying later, closer to the time, rather than preparing in advance, which was also right. So here is my study guide. As you can see on the left, we have the instructions and interpreting your results. On the right, we have the bingo chart, which can tell you whether you're short and strong or you're a planned and powerful person. Now, let me give you an example. I'll quickly tick all of the options that I agree with. Now, as it says on the left, I have to count them up. I have seven blue and three red. And since more of them are on the blue side, I'm definitely more of a planned and powerful person. Thank you for everyone who filled out my form or who is watching this video. Thank you to Ms. Savar who signed me up for this. And lastly, thank you to the judges for reviewing my project.